Yes. Look, thank you. you receive his news? The letter arrived today, and on the opening, we had the most wonderful surprise. Frank said... Some of the other ladies were saying they were not warm enough. I am quite comfortable. Yes. yes. And then I saw how close you were to the fire and thought perhaps you might be too warm. Mr. Elton, I am in the perfect state of warmness. At first, I could not believe it, so I asked Mrs. Weston to read the letter herself to make sure I was not dreaming. But indeed, Frank said... Miss Waters, is there any effort I might make on behalf of your father's comfort? Mrs. Weston... You are very kind, but I can only imagine that he is quite comfortable. Thank you for being so thoughtful. No. Thank you for thinking I am thoughtful. I wondered if perhaps you might be so kind as to bring me some punch. I only hope I can complete the task quickly enough. Please. I could not enjoy it if I knew that you had hurried. <sighs> Simply thrilling news. And that was the end of the letter. Hanbury, <sighs> mother. Yes. Emma, I'm sure I had your attention earlier. I was so desirous of your company, but I wanted to tell you that Frank is coming at last. I so look forward to meeting him. That is, if you can bear to share him. <laughs> and that is, if his aunt will share him with us. That's what this depends on. She has said yes, but has not given a date. Very prudent. This weather is by no means clement for the traveller abroad. No, no, no. Yes. I hope I'm not intruding. <laughs>